Now the question really is, does sound require that there is air around us to propagate? Now, after having understood the previous module, you know that it's a very silly question to ask. Because if I pluck something and if there's nothing for it to compress and expand, how exactly would we be, our ear be able to hear sound? But just for the purpose of an excursion into thought, let's really begin to see what would happen. Because if you already understand what sound is, then you would know that the really keen ones amongst you who followed the previous bonus section will know that it's a mechanical wave. It, it requires something mechanical to oscillate for it to propagate, which means that if that mechanical thing was removed, in this case air, it wouldn't be able to propagate at all. So if you were to understand sound as a mechanical wave that needs a medium, your understanding will be a lot more than if you remember sound requires air to travel. If sound is, does not, there's no air, sound won't travel. As if it's very specific for sound and for air. Not really. For any mechanical wave, you need a medium, right? Otherwise, you could do a bell jar experiment where you put a bell jar and you put a little, you know, alarm clock into it and suck out all the air from the bell jar. And then what happens is that you begin to, you don't hear the sound of the bell jar, sound of the alarm anymore. Wow, that must be surprising, right? If you don't know how sound works, that would be surprising for you. But now it's not going to be that surprising, right? Now, if, so, so for the example really is, if somebody somehow were really sadistic and began, began to remove all the air from this room, what would begin to happen is that in some time, and that's what, and the sound is coming back slowly, what will begin to happen is that you can begin to hear me again. So kind of what we require for sound to propagate is air or some other medium. Which brings us to our next question. Can sound travel through other media like liquids or, or solids? Can't it? Why can't it, right? So it's a question. So before we go there, we need to ask how does sound really propagate itself, right? How does sound move? Because we know that if I pull a string like this or a, or a, or a rope, the wave propagates that way while the rope goes up and down. It's a transverse wave. How exactly does sound do that? So in air, we know it's a compression and rarefaction. And the, all the air molecules are vibrating this way. So it's a longitudinal wave. Awesome. So our books always say that sound waves are longitudinal. No more questions asked, right? But it turns out that the really curious ones amongst you will ask that question always. Because whenever the word always hits you, it's a good question to ask. Really, always. Because it's very unlikely that always something is true. So it's a good place to begin to feel doubtful. And if you were doubtful, you're right. Because sound doesn't always travel longitudinally. If you were to try it to spread solids, spread sound through a liquid or a gas, it would always be longitudinal. Uh, why that is going to be true, we'll tell you in some time. Or you will find out if you're really curious. But when you take sound into a solid, so can sound travel through a solid? Yes, of course. You create a vibration. In this case, if it's a solid, instead of air molecules compressing and relaxing and things like that, the parts of the solid are going to do that. Now, the interesting thing here is, in solids, sound can travel both as a longitudinal and as a transverse wave. Because solids allow transverse waves to pass through them. They are suitable for transverse waves. Now, why exactly? They have something called elasticity. Solids have a much higher elasticity. They can withstand a, an attempt to change their shape. Right? Solids can withstand, if you try to change their shape, they can try to withstand that. They resist a change to their shape. But do liquids do that? You pour liquid in the container, it takes the shape of that container. You pour gases, you don't even have to ask, right? They don't really resist any change. So in that way, solids are different from liquids and gases. And therefore, in solids, sound can even travel as a transverse wave. 